Am I the idiot? For running out in the middle of my girlfriend's birthday dinner date to help my mother? Hello Reddit. Long time dweller, first time posting. Burning account for obvious reasons. So, I 22M have been dating my girlfriend Susan 21F, not her real name for a year now. Things have been great between us as we keep good communication. I'm posting these two days after her birthday, which is also the time where the incident happened. I'd like to say that I'm very romantic, and my girlfriend can vouch that for me. As for her birthday, I had planned a whole long day schedule of her favorite activities, along with some extras I poked here and there, like taking her to the movies, going out to Red Lobster despite me not enjoying seafood at all and some more. This is the part where my mother Claudia 42F, again, not a real name comes into play. Due to medical issues, she's prone to having sudden epileptic attacks with no prior warning, so me and my stepdad Robert 52M, not a real name have always been on the lookout and wary of this, hence we are in contact at least once a day. Now, my girlfriend is very well aware of this, and I've warned her since day one. This never bothered her, and she's been always supportive of me and my father I've grown close to him and call him dad sometimes, although my mom's attacks have gotten in the way of our hangouts once or twice before. We were out at Red Lobster, and we were midway through our meal when I got a call. I picked up the phone since it was my stepdad. I might be the asshole here, because I just dropped everything and took off running, as you all can expect. My mother had an attack and my dad told me to come over. Though, by the time I arrived, my stepdad told me that things were under control, and that it was just a scare because she suddenly felt dizzy, lightheaded and her head started to hurt. I thought that it'd be the end of it, but it turned out to be a true attack, as she started to have a seizure in the living room, and we had to rush her to the doctor. It took a good 30 minutes for her to stabilize, and I called my girlfriend to let her know that mom was okay, and that if she wanted, we could resume our date. She told me that she didn't want to anymore, and that I was an asshole for leaving her like that and ruining her special day, which she's told her friends, who sent me messages telling me how much of an asshole I am. So Reddit, am I the asshole? Now for the comments. Commenter 1 You're the idiot. First of all does your mother have epileptic seizures without warning, or does she get dizzy and lightheaded and get a headache and then have a seizure? More out of curiosity than anything, about the inconsistency. Second of all she's a grown woman with epilepsy. She doesn't need you to drop what you're doing and rush to her location when she has a seizure. She needs to get her seizures under control with the help of her doctor. If her husband is present, he can handle the aftermath and getting her medical attention. Two people aren't required. You can still be involved and helpful, but surely when it's an important day and you're occupied, her husband can handle things. Thirdly you rushed out of your girlfriend's birthday dinner without telling her why or making sure she had cash or a ride home to go to tend to someone who did not really need your help. That's not prioritizing your mom's medical needs, that's blowing your girlfriend's needs out of the ducking water. Original poster thank you for your input in this. She does without warning and very few times with warning, I can count in the fingers of one hand the number of times she's given us some kind of warning about her episodes, this being the fourth time. Her husband cannot lift anything due to a work-related injury before meeting my mom, and not being mean, she leans a bit on the heavier side. I didn't leave my girlfriend completely blank, as I had given her money earlier as part of a birthday gift, money which I intend to pay back of course. Though thank you. I appreciate that you're letting me know my faults and what I did wrong. Commenter 2 define I just dropped everything and took off running because there is a big difference between answering the phone, not acknowledging girlfriend and literally running away and answering the phone saying to girlfriend mom's having an attack and running away. Original post of the earlier. I kind of just booked it, though it only dawned on me later. It's kind of an instinct that kicks in, to ensure she's okay commenter 2 then you're the idiot it takes less than a second to inform a person you presumably love and respect that you have to leave. Even just saying sorry, mom would have been enough to stay out of asshole territory. But you just running away was disrespectful AF original poster I see. Thank you for your input, I do realize I lack a lot of communication. Commander 3 no I do it's here? Did you leave and not say anything to the point that she might have been unsure why you left? Is there a specific reason you need to be there for every attack? Like are you needed? Is it case she didn't make it through this attack? You say your girlfriend said it was a special night. Was this specific date for something special? NM. Read it was her birthday can you set things up with your stepdad beforehand to not call unless it's really an emergency? Your girlfriend might just want to feel like a priority sometimes and not always feel like coming in second. Original poster I am needed in every case because my stepfather cannot carry my mother into his truck in case, she does suffer one like this case. Yeah, it was her birthday. Yeah. I've talked to my stepfather before and not to call me unless there's a true emergency, as such, in his worried spouse judgment, he assumed it to be a real case. 
I hadn't seen it that way. I'll need to talk to my girlfriend about that and if she does really feel like that. Thank you for your comment. Commenter 4 What about calling an ambulance? Or is this USA? Original poster I've asked my father about that before, why not the ambulance? He says he doesn't really know, it's just his first instinct to call me. USA indeed. Commenter 5 Adults don't run out of the restaurant in the middle of dinner with no communication and leave their partner on their birthday with the bill. He didn't even say anything, he just ran out. Also, there was no medical emergency at the time, and this is a known medical condition which also makes it not a medical emergency. At some point original poster is going to have to somewhat distance himself if he plans to have a family or a long-term relationship. Original poster just clarifying, I didn't leave her with the bill and no way to pay it, since I had given her some money beforehand as a birthday gift, and I intend to pay it back, but thank you for this input, like another comment, it makes me realize I lack a bit of communication regarding this matter, but it's like a fight or flight response, I just need to make sure that my mother is okay. That last part of your comment, about having to distance myself and decide between relationship and family really makes me think. Thank you. The verdict? Original poster was voted the a whole. Now for the update. Hello again Reddit. A lot of stuff has happened the past days, and I don't even know where to start or where my head is at right now. It just feels surreal right now. Many of you will be displeased to hear this, but me and my girlfriend are still together. Apologies to those who commented but didn't get a reply, I did read each and every comment, and took them the heart. Even the ones that came out rougher on the edges. It was eye-opening to say the least. It made me realize a lot of stuff. The same day of the original post, I messaged my girlfriend to talk with her, she told me she was at her parents' house, so I went over, and we had a talk. I apologized for leaving so abruptly without making sure she was okay, but that I didn't know any better since that's what I was raised like and what I was taught. She said she understood and apologized for slandering me with her friends, but only wanted her opinion validated. Okay, no biggie. I told her if she ever felt second in line whenever it came to my mother, and she said yes. This was making me open my eyes more and more to the situation at hand, alike the comments were pointing out. I admit I cried a bit, and my girlfriend held me and consoled me. I went to sleep on it and next morning, I took my leave to go confront my parents, my girlfriend insisted on tagging along, but understood when I told her that this was something I had to do on my own. I arrived at my parents' place, and my mom greeted me like nothing happened. She felt something was off when I didn't reply, and I told her to sit down and have a talk with me. She looked really worried. I was blunt and outright asked if she was really sick, because the more I thought of it more like, the more I recall the comments calling me out and her behavior the odder it looked. Did she really have seizures? If she has seizures, why does she have her husband call me instead of an ambulance? I pointed out how if those were real seizures, like I've read online she'd be either aggressive towards us or have no idea of who she is and where she is and why. As a few Redditors suspected, she doesn't have seizures. It just turned out to be a controlling movement on her side to keep me around and short-leashed. It was one of the worst feelings I've ever experienced, and it genuinely made me nauseous. My whole life was built on a lie. You can tell the turmoil, anger, sadness, shock, disappointment, everything going down to me at once. And then, why a stepfather walked in. I only asked him once if he was a part into this, and he couldn't look me in the eye. Right then and there. I knew that I had no family anymore, so I left. On my way to work, I started getting bombarded with calls and texts from her, but I simply blocked her and ignored her. So, here's where I'm sitting at right now. Now for the comments. Commenter 1 Why would people be displeased to know you're still with your girlfriend? I'm lost original poster if you read part 1, you'd understand, some comments were saying it was down to my girlfriend to leave me due to what I did.